We're back, episode number two, and honestly, just like my afro, I did not think it would make it this far. But today, we're looking at My Fitness Pal, the second most popular health and fitness app in the world. Today, we're going to be tracking our food, going on a run, and also checking out Five Guys. Let's jump in. The thing that stands out to me first on this. Like, it's so heavy on the ads. I was going to say, the ad. <laughs> Even the MyFitnessPal blog, which itself is not an ad, feels like, like an, an ad. ad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, yo, what? What are we doing today? Let's track what we ate, right? So clearly I've got a goal to eat 3,000 calories. Must be bold. Is that actually your goal? It was my goal a few weeks back, yeah, because I was trying to gain some size, and then it didn't work. Um, <laughs> we want to add something. You've got your little blue plus. Okay, that's a nice animation. Ooh, Do you see that? That is nice. That Zoom. Is nice. Zoom. One of the few times that Drivel became live. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> like, I see this on Drivel all the time. Isn't it great when something on Drivel actually comes to life? Like, I do wonder <laughs> yeah. why people don't do it more often. I mean, I get that it's working, blah, 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 but still. I really like this, actually. The overlay is nice. It's all within reach. All of the little options that you have. It's smart, right? It, it achieves its purpose of tucking away lots of actions into one little buffer step. Also, the number one drawback of these fancy UI components is that actually Actually ruins the UX but in this scenario you know it's very fast to launch you've got all your mm. options here it doesn't really take much away so it actually adds yeah. to it a lot all right so let's add a food and it says which meal cool let's say I wanted to have a snack right probably something they imagine they've looked into but could you guess what food it is by the time of day yeah you could default it and then allow them to change but maybe their change experience which we can find out later is a bit shit i'm also um, wondering sorry one more interrupt <laughs> yeah, yeah tell me tell me no no interrupt me three more times please <laughs> there's multi-add here on the bottom i'm gonna tap that what does that do okay okay oh. the likelihood is you'll tap on one and then you tap it and then it adds it okay so you tap on the actual item you get a breakdown of it and you get to choose your amount but okay I, one, okay that's interesting i thought when you tapped on it that was you choosing i didn't know that. well you want to choose your amount right if someone's using this app they probably care enough about the amounts okay but yeah the multi-add is i guess for people that don't care about the amounts as much well let's see let's see if you click add it just goes straight in so yeah you don't choose the amounts Okay. So we've got this view now. So it's come on the snacks as you've got some protein, you've got some milk, dinner, lunch, add food. I quite like this. I think it's good to have these little prompts. It's almost a bit of a gamification because it's incomplete, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Which is quite nice. A few moments later. Yeah, I'm wondering if it is good to have those ad foods because, it, again, it's three calls cool to action in your face. Like, they are, they are quite low key. They're not heavy buttons but still they are uh, capitalized which is your favorite type of button <laughs> <laughs> so we click add uh, and say let's say we go back onto food you can search for stuff that you've done or it's actually quite a complete search so let's say we have your favorites which are custard creams right oh yeah Cool. So it's not a dynamic search. You actually have to click or tap here for search. Well, that's a but pretty quick. Give it that. You've got all these different types of custard creams. Well, this is one thing that I really like is the actual shop as well, which I think is really good. Mm. Well, yeah, I was going to um, say. Those little ones don't cut it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit hard for me to differentiate what I'm looking at here. So the, the shop definitely helps. You know, Do you think you could put in icons for the shops? Man? That's what I was going to say. I love a visual. Whoa, don't, <laughs> don't. That would be crazy. Think about how much faster that would be to just tap. All right, so let's go to these two up here. So you've got access your location. Interesting. Restaurant logging. Now that is cool. Oh, that's quite cool. Okay. So you've got Costa. Okay, there the menu. Request menu mean. I think it's just asking that company to give them the menu, I guess. But let's say I search for somewhere in London that probably has a menu. Somewhere in Soho. Yeah, right? If they haven't got square. it in Soho, then they probably don't. Oh, these are all request menus. <laughs> I don't see much use in this then. Go down oh, again. See? Okay, five guys. <laughs> five guys. <laughs> <laughs> Of all the ones to have for my fitness pal, five guys. All right, let's say it's five guys. Okay, this is quite cool. Though. That's really good. That I really think good. this is awesome. That's a, that's because restaurant you just don't know what you you choose. I did exactly. have this problem before. Okay, this is neat. Because this is the problem I had last time when you educated me in the fact that you have to choose the item, then select the number of serving or the size or whatever. Like yeah. when I looked at all of this. I don't know if it is meant to stand out, but the serving size and the number of servings doesn't stand out to me. So I 
for what it yeah. was a purely informational screen. Well, it's actually interesting you say that because they've got Go Premium here, which repeats throughout the whole app as something they want you to do. I think they could have put this in bold as well for the serving sizes, number of servings as well. Like it's just like it's just normal regular font, right? As, yeah. as the rest of the UI is, but they could have made that bold, or they could do something like the add foods, which looked very bold. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's just add that in. Food logged view in diary. See, now this is weird because the other flow took me to my diary, and now this has just taken me back to where I was. Is that because it knows bit... you're gonna eat more at Five Guys? <laughs> 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 maybe but so now i have to go back into here i kind of don't like that it just feels disjointed compared to here if you just added it normally you'd be able to go on to your diary here but when you go through a restaurant flow you have to just tap 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 all the way back out yeah i agree i think this whole thing i mean i know you were a fan of the multi-ad but i'm kind of like the whole thing <laughs> Like whether it's a single ad or multi ad or once you've selected it, it goes back to the diary or it doesn't go back to the diary. Like there's so many uses here. I think it should be a lot clearer yeah. of how you can actually just select one and then maybe there should be a call to action now to add and go back to diary or add another. Yeah, exactly. So you add here, that is added. You, but yeah, multi, I think multi ad would have made sense here if you add, allow. There, there is multi ad. Look, there's multi-ad here, so there's oh, no wow, need to actually different. come back. doesn't make well, sense. I mean, the the discoverability of that wasn't great because it was right at the bottom yeah. in grey. And uh, this is multi-ad in blue. In blue, yeah. I think there's huge potential in that one. Yeah, definitely. If they get their number of restaurants up and maybe tidy up the UX a little bit. If I knew that restaurants had that, I'd be all over that. Hundred. In fact, I'll probably go to restaurants more. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to do this one, which is scan. Okay. Have you ever used scan? I have not used scan. So you oh, scan okay. it. So I'm, I'm going to scan this apple, right? Uh, yeah, the it's barcode like... looks real good. <laughs> Yo, why is it not doing my... I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not doing an apple, bro. Okay, so <laughs> I've got this pack of medjool dates, right? Because we're a bit bougie. So I'm going to scan it in here. Oh, okay, nice. So that's cool. That to me is really good. That's nice. So you've got number of servings, one. Serving size, four dates. If I look on the back of my pack, that is... It's correct. All right, so that's all perfectly there. Let's say I have one date. So I put that as, okay, let me do the number of servings as 0.25. Okay, so this, now that's this can very, be a bit fiddly. That's very intuitive. <laughs> okay, now I add it and that's there. That I really like. I think if you go back to probably the customer base that this is for, it makes a lot of sense, right? These guys want very granular or specific data. Having the scan barcode rather than having to look at the back of the instructions manual. I think yeah. that's a big value add. I agree. I know me, for example, I would probably eat the food, throw away the packaging, and then I'm done. <laughs> if I'm going to then actually go back into the app and then it says scan, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Let me just go into the bin. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, I can maybe learn to not do that. But Yeah, I think you'd have to build up a bit of a habit. But once you've added it once, it saves to your history. So you don't have to add it ever again. Now, I've got stuff on here from uni, which is five years ago. <laughs> As I say, this history is really cool. I'm just thinking of the potential here again. I love this whole contextual stuff. So when talking about time, if you had Fusilli pasta at a certain mm. time every day or a relative period, could that be pushed to the top when you're coming to do this? It's so. a good point. I think once you've done this one time, mm -hmm. there is another good feature, which is let's say for tomorrow, what you can do. No, nope, that's not how you do it. <laughs> Um, I know there's a way to copy, basically. Okay, uh, Again, maybe very intuitive. The, extremely intuitive, it works, right? So the dot, dot, dots, turn on smart copy or copy from date. There's like smart copy. I don't know what that means, though. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> that, that would have been useful to have a little eye to, to show what <laughs> yeah. that actually means. So you can do copy from date. That, to me, is initially weird as a UI. You have your styles that's and then your... No, that's extremely that's creative. Useful, from yeah. a developer to be like, hey. <laughs> I don't want to build a new component, but here's what you can do with iOS native. <laughs> but yeah, you can add yesterday's and then it copies everything over. One thing I just saw, the uh, toaster notification that just came in the middle there, it said copied from today. The last time there was a toaster, it was on the bottom. And this time it was on the middle, which, you know, it's only What's a very... What's toaster? The three dots? No, no, the actual message of success that something's happened. If you do smart copy there... Yeah, there, turned on smart copy there, that, that toaster there. But when you're adding the burger, 
Oh, right, from yeah. the restaurant and then it said at the bottom you know added to your dinner or, or snacks or whatever okay. that was actually on the bottom of the screen it's, okay. just, uh, it's a very That's small like you've got thing a keen eye, mate. yeah it's a very small thing but if you're trying to make customers understand the app and know where to look you know like as a mental model rather than having to remember yeah recognition versus recall that's the one Norman Nielsen all the way around my guy NN double N N squared you mean my guys oh it's Norman and Nielsen <laughs> <laughs> if we ever do a quiz that should be a quiz question <laughs> that's food probably the main thing what would be the second thing that you'd come in here to log let's have a quick look at exercise yeah I thought exercise would have been one okay here you had the iOS yeah. native and before you, the, you didn't it's consistency yeah so let's say we did some cardio today a run sure thing 5k 5k i've got my history here of what i i've done before going back to the history when you don't have too many it can actually be really helpful okay, let's do create a new exercise run how long did we run for so 5k let's say we were quick we did it 25 minutes yeah that's not you obviously now here i see a fantastic opportunity to integrate with apple health oh that's a really good point yeah like yeah. there's no need for me to input this if you allow for apple health permissions you can auto add yeah the apple watch got released about three years ago so you know <laughs> it's probably fair for them to not have released something now oh or Google Health, yeah. if it was Android. Oh, yeah, or Google Health, sorry. We're inclusive. Android. Yeah, we are exclusive. Um, <laughs> so we've added a... Oh, <laughs> it <God>. says... <laughs> 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 what? Okay, time for the ratings. First up, we have user experience. What did you think there, Saki? I actually really like this app at university, but I think that speaks volumes about my design knowledge at the time, which was none. I think looking back on it now, the app can be quite confusing at times, but I recognize there's also a lot of potential too. I'm gonna have to give it a 2.5 though. What did you think of the UI? Well, to be honest, that makes me feel a little bit better because outside of the fancy button at the beginning, the rest of the UI was a little bit busy. There wasn't great consistency and the navigation didn't take us to great places. It was quite hard to actually follow you as you were going through it. So for those reasons, it's going to have to be a two. Oof. And I know that's quite low between the both of us. And I do like the idea of my fitness pal, but it just didn't quite deliver. All right. Well, there you have it. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to like, subscribe and slide into my DMs. I just can't. I just can't. <laughs>